Welcome back, everyone. Will and I have been going through the La Aurora blending kit, and we have just about finished smoking our Peruvian tobacco. Yes. It's interesting. Uh, I was just commenting to Will that the the flavors, I mean, they really don't change all that much. No. Because <laughs> right? it's all the same tobacco yeah. in one cigar. Um, it's still that aromatic kind of saltiness. Um, I'm not really getting much else from it. No, I mean it was a little spice you get, but mm. but, but that's uh, that's about it. So we're gonna move on to our next one, which is the Brazilian tobacco. Now, uh, oh, there we go. Drop the uh, cutter. Got to hate when it happens. I know. So <laughs> the next one is Brazilian, and uh, Manuel Anoa says that this is sweet tobacco with a pleasant flavor, medium in strength, very aromatic, and. Combines well with other tobaccos. So they primarily use this as a filler tobacco to complement uh, the other tobaccos in the blend. So we're going to light this one up. Again, in between smoking these burritos, very important, cleanse the palate. Manuel will remind you of that as you go through the seminar. Take a sip of your um, sparkling water. Uh, do a cold draw. We didn't do. I don't think we did a cold draw. We didn't. I was doing it, but didn't. Yeah, comment on it. we. Sh- you should. You know, smell the tobacco, smell the foot, smell the wrapper. Do a cold draw. I get like a little earth. Earth. Mm, on the cold draw, uh, and then go ahead and you know toast the foot and then and light it up. My lighter's working better now. I had it's like a little breaking in period uh, with the lighter. So we'll smoke the Brazilian tobacco. Now, a lot of uh, manufacturers, Davidoff in particular, right, have been coming out with their Brazilian yep, but, cigars. But it is getting harder to get Brazilian tobacco these days. Um, the, it is in shorter supply, so I think it's more of the bigger companies that have been able to get their hands on it. But that's been driving why a lot of companies go to San Andreas, because it's getting harder to get the Brazilian. Yeah, it's so different. Hits your palate totally in a different way. And that's what you really want to pay attention to as you go through this is the different ways that it goes, uh, kind of hits your palate. When I say earthy, it's a very dusty mm. type of flavor that you get. There is some sweetness, though. Yeah, I pick up some hints of sweetness as well. Um, let's see what Manuel says. Definitely a little more in strength, right? It is. It's kicked up a little more uh, in strength. But... Now, the sweetness is you'll get it at the tip of your tongue, which is, again, with the natural portions. Yeah, I do get a little bit of sweetness. But when it's further back, when you kind of you get some of that, that's where I get that dusty, earthy. Yeah, there is. I, it, dusty is a pretty good term yeah. for it because it's not a real, like, deep earth right. flavor. It's a, it's a lighter earth, if that makes any sense. It's very difficult to describe flavors. If but, you've watched the Stogie Geeks, you see all our different ways to describe. But completely different than the, nothing in common with the Peruvian tobacco. No, completely different. Now, one of the things that we did in a different seminar, I don't know if this one's still lit, mm, is you take the burritos and you can smoke them at the same time. We didn't do this in the in Manuel's seminar, but it'd be kind of it's kind of interesting to do it as an experiment to see if they work together. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. But all four should work well together because that was the ultimate blend. Oh yeah, that's not very good. No, but you you definitely it's totally different, it's totally right? When different. they're yeah, when they're so, together. I get a little less of the dryness. The dryness mm-hmm. is overcome. Right. And a little of the saltiness is overcome. You're definitely getting a little more of the Brazilian. It is definitely a sweet, earthy flavor. Uh, again, in this burrito wheel, it's actually pretty good as a cigar on its own. Yeah. <laughs> like it's very enjoyable by itself. Yeah. I really like this one. So, again, you can order this blending kit. You can call up the Havana Cigar Club. Um, 401 287 4250 and purchase this kit for $50. Comes with all the burritos that we're smoking uh, and go through this 
on your own. And it's got the DVD and the DVD? PowerPoint slides. That yeah, you, that we're referencing here today. Yeah. I'm referencing Manuel's PowerPoint slides um, for some of the extra information around it. Um, so, yeah, sweetness you'll typically get on the tip of your tongue, as Will said. And this cigar definitely has, uh, this Perito rather, has uh, a little bit of that sweetness. It's very it is good. Burning. It is burning well. Mm. It burns a, li- a little slower than the than the Peruvian, excuse me. I noticed, I don't know if there's anything to this, but I noticed these are tight, tightly, like the they drawers are, are meant yeah. to have a little resistance on it. We yeah, have, well, it's probably why it's burning a little slower. Yeah. There's not as much air going through yeah. it. Yeah. <clears throat> this is good, though. Totally, yeah. Make sure you set aside some time to go through this blending kit. Because like Will and I are saying, these Peritos are good on their own. They're actually pretty enjoyable. Yeah. And don't be doing other things while you're going through the seminar either. Make sure you can sit down and, and focus on this, um, which is nice. Will and I have the you know opportunity to sit here together in the same room, which is awesome, and uh, and, and go through this kit and talk about it. So. Yeah, I mean, like I said, you'll it it is going to be an educational experience, and and even just kind of going through this on our own. I'm learning a lot, and this is the first time I've even touched this. I know you've gone through it already. The more you know, the more you realize you don't know. Excellent. Um, well, we're going to finish smoking the Brazilian Perito inside of this kit, and uh, we'll report back and go on to the next one. Yep, sounds good. <laughs> 